Hi, in this session, I'm going to cover headers and footers in your Excel documents. So when you go and print Excel documents, sometimes you want to show text at the top or the bottom of the page. Maybe the text at the top, you want to show the file name, and at the bottom you want to show the page numbers, or maybe at the top you want to show the date. And that can be done with a some configuration in the header or footer. Now to get into configuring that, what you need to do is go into the page layout tab and go to the page setup group and click on the arrow down here it will bring up the page setup dialog box and then you want to go to the header and footer tab now there's a couple ways we can do this uh, let me uncheck that you can go with the selected headers that Excel provides now let's say for example I wanted to have the sheet name as the header and then maybe for the footer I wanted to put page one of whatever you know if you had multiple pages it'd go one of it'd be one of three two three three or three when it gets printed out now you can go with the drop down selection Excel provides or you can create custom a custom header and customer custom footer so I'm going to just reset this back to none so you can see what I'm talking about so with the custom header it's gonna it's gonna when you click on that it'll come up with another window where you can select uh, there's a couple sections you can put your header information in your left section of course that's going to be the left part of your page the center in the page and the right in the page and it's going to justify it right justify it here it will left justify it here in the left section and it will center justify in the center section so let's say for example I wanted to put the um, file name here um, or you can even put a picture if you wanted to but let's say I wanted to put the file name here and I want to put the time when the the date when it got printed and uh, I think that would be okay and now I want to and it shows you right here it, it gives you kind of like a preview of it and let's say I wanted to, to have the custom footer and have the page number here and that's going to be the page that it print that the page that you're printing and also the number of pages so I can say here I can do page something of this page click OK and it'll show you page one of one we can do a print preview and you can see I, I have my date here in the middle in the left header the t file name in the center and then I've got my page here this is page one of two and two of two here so that is going through and configuring some text in your header and footer via the page layout tab. There's actually also another way to do this and this is, let me go ahead and just uh, reset these and I'll show you the other way to do it. The other way to do it is go under view and go to page layout and what this does is it gives you basically almost like the printed uh, layout of your your document and you can see that it, you have your left section your center section your right cent section uh, if you click on it you'll see that you get this context sensitive tab the header and footer tools where you can s click on the design tab and very similar to what we saw in the page setup dialog box you can and you can click on these icons and it will insert the date or, or time uh, let's put or time and you can even go to the footer the navigation you can you can kind of toggle here well not really toggle but just select just select the icon to go to the header or footer so I just selected to go to the footer maybe here you've got you've also got your um, different section center left and right maybe out here I want to put the, the page number of the number of pages and let's go back to the header and basically what it does is the nice thing about this one it gives you an exact representation of the page and so you don't really have to go to page preview you can actually uh, edit your header and your footer and you can see it right on the spot what it looks like so we see our, we have our page one of two and we have our page uh, 
two of two here. And we, there's a lot of things you can do uh, in the header and footer tools here, very similar to what we saw in the page setup dialog box. Now, also we have these options, which was also in the page setup dialog box, where if we just wanted our first page to be different from the rest, uh, we would take that off. So it, it tells you this is the first page header. Maybe we want that as a date. And then if we kind of scroll down, you'll notice when we click here, you don't see that first page header. Maybe we want this, we want this different. We want this to be the sheet name. And so that changes. So you see sheet one here, and you see the date up here in the first page header. So there's a lot of things you can do. You can play around with this, and and it just kind of gives you a little bit more information when you have to print out your Excel files and hand them out to folks. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.